Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and I'm here with Brownell's Daily Defense to talk to you about a bad gun. What is a bad gun? All right, well, first, let's talk about the type of weapon system that you can expect to fulfill a bad gun mission. So, the, uh, the most common weapon system that you're going to see starts with a PDW, personal defense weapon. And that's something that I have right here, this Rattler. Great little package, nice and small, collapsible stock or folding stock. So I've got a nice package that is in a compact size. And that's one of the things that I think defines the bag gun is that it is compact, it is small. Now, another weapon system that you might find is a SBR, short barrel rifle. Now, the thing about a short barrel rifle is even though the name implies short, it is below the legal limit, how short is it overall? Now, there are folding stocks that you can attach that allow you to even shrink that size more, but you're still gonna be hard pressed, and here's the problem, finding a decent bag that you can discreetly carry it without drawing attention to yourself. So while I love SBRs, does it fulfill a bad gun mission? Yes and no. I'm, I feel like there are better alternatives. Now, another weapon system that you might consider is gonna be a PCC or pistol caliber carbine. Now, some of these weapon systems are puny. They are small, they're compact. So they kind of fulfill that mission profile need of being compact. My only beef with them is that they're still a pistol caliber. And while I have extended barrel length here that allows me to generate more velocity and increase terminal performance, still a pistol caliber, all right? Um, one other weapon system that you might consider would be a short barrel shotgun. But truthfully, you're not gonna be able to find a short enough shotgun that you can shoulder well or shoulder and shoot well you probably will be able to find some really short pistol grip versions, but your ability to shoot well with those, that's gonna be sketchy. So my preference is to go with some sort of PDW and the Rattler right here kind of fits that bill to a T. Now, the next question you're probably wondering, why have one? Well, it's easily summed up with 2020. Throw a global pandemic into the mix and it kind of makes sense why I see people becoming, or I see these bad guns becoming more popular. All right, there's a lot of crazy that happened in 2020 and we're still trying to climb out of that craziness. So I can understand and appreciate why it makes sense for some people to consider bad guns. I really can. You know, you have a pandemic, you throw some rioting in there and defunding the police and now it makes sense. But again, we've gotta be able to realistically address the mission need for this thing. And, and will I have access to this in those types of circumstances? Maybe, maybe not. The real question is, will I have access to my handgun? And if so, is it the better choice over the PDW bad gun? And that's gonna be kind of like a question that you're gonna to have to answer for yourself. Of course, if you're not carrying a handgun, but you have one strapped into a bag, yeah, maybe that's the best scenario that you have to work with. But most of us are probably gonna be carrying a handgun as part of our EDC package, and this is a supplement to that package. So you gotta ask yourself that question, which is the best tool to solve that job? So what we are eventually kind of working to is, yes, there's probably a need to have a bad gun, but really what we have to do is we have to define that need. We have to really narrow in on the actual circumstances where we could probably see a bad gun becoming realistic. And it's super narrow. And one of the reasons why it makes it narrow is because if we're doing the right things at the right time, we're probably gonna avoid having to use something like a bad gun. We may even avoid using something like a handgun. And that means that we have the ability to detect, diffuse, and as a last resort, defend. So when we talk about detecting, that's where our situational game has to be on point. We gotta be aware of things, right? There's plenty of, you know, I guess, plenty of phrases that sum this up. Don't go to stupid places where stupid people hang out. That's a great idea, all right? You could probably implement that into everyday life and probably be better off for it. Right, but let's just say that you happen to be out minding your own business and you find yourself in a situation. Now we have to try to work at diffusing that situation. If that doesn't work, then we are left with defending. And the question is, is this the right tool to defend with? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, right? We're gonna talk about kind of like doing a side-by-side -side comparison between a bad gun and a handgun, see really which one works. But one of the things that I wanna remind you of is 
you know, sometimes people can come up to the conclusion that yeah, bad gun's really not for me. Great, I get it, no problem. But I want you to look at it from this perspective, right? It's not what are the odds that I'm gonna need a bad gun because those odds, quite frankly, are pretty low. The real issue is what's at stake? What are the stakes? And if I have a bad gun, do I help kind of shift the balance more in my favor? Possibly, there's a good chance of that. Now, one of the things that can help shift that balance more in your favor are what really make these bad guns a better choice. All right, the, the one that comes to the top of my list is gonna be accuracy. Accuracy is key. And if I'm able to deliver more accurate rounds, because this is a weapon system that allows me to get four points of contact, it has a red dot, I'm shooting a rifle cartridge, so I've just got the ability to be more accurate, I'm down with that. That's a huge thing. The other thing that I like is that I can increase the range. I have the ability to kind of push out farther than what normal handgun distances are, and I can still remain accuracy because of the inherent accurate, uh, accurate capabilities that the PDW has. Another thing is capacity. Not only do I have 30 round magazines, but I also have 20 round magazines. And so when I'm looking at the capacity, I mean, 20 rounds in the gun as I go to uh, and solve a problem, that's a pretty decent loadout. I mean, many of the more common EDC guns are looking at about a 15 round magazine capacity. So is it really that much more? Mm, maybe, maybe not. But when you add increased lethality, increased range, increased accuracy, it starts to make a better argument. So we're gonna have some fun playing with these bad guns. We're gonna do a couple of different a couple of different videos. It kind of helps to like, again, compare and contrast between the handgun and what you have available. I hope that you'll tune in to some of these videos. And if you have a pet project, a bad gun project, hey, put it down below, list it in the comments. Let us know what you went with. Be curious to see what other folks are using. Until then, I'm Jeff Gonzalez. Take care and stay safe.